We're getting close. Once we once we do the horizon, priority horizon, we'll be able to do at that point, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to do shore leave, which is one of my favorite parts of any game ever. And now we can do Leviathan also. We can finish off Leviathan. But yeah, let me go let me go see what's up. We got everybody. Sometimes I still think that I'll get the beep. I think it was, is it in one or two? I think it's in one. Or like you walk up and you touch the galaxy map and it's like, beep, 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 and freaking Hackett's on the line. Look how many Reapers there are. How many Reaper upset, like, uh, controlled systems there are. Investigate Sanctuary, the communication hub. Well. And the Asari have the system, some of the systems that are the closest to the Citadel too. Like the Reapers are so close. It's just a nightmare. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I need a cab to the Presidium. It'll be there momentarily. How nice. I wonder if everybody gets that treatment or just me. <laughs> just gonna run around and see if I need to pick up anything else from people at the Citadel. Here we go. Excuse me. I'm Commander mm -hmm. Shepard. If you promise to be careful, I've got something for you. If you promise to be careful. A Reaper code fragment. Yes, I can use this to try to predict their strategic processes. We might be able to save a few worlds with this, Commander. Thank you. Wish I could have given it to you earlier. And now, an ANN editorial comment. We heard non-stop news about massacres on our home worlds. But let's not forget that we've survived heavy losses before. It was a, a battle space um, piece, but it wasn't the one we have on our ship, the lady we have on our ship. It was a good piece, though. Uh, yeah, no, I'm thinking, I checked in with Bailey, he didn't have anything to say. I think we're not picking up anything. We got your people off to Kuhn, oh, okay. Ambassador. Thank you for your assistance, Commander. This is not a death we can. It didn't like put a tr like a. Were you able to evacuate any civilians? Like a diamond. Yes. How many? Not enough. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I keep feeling like she's gonna have. I I don't know. I've probably already given her something, but she has the look. Um, but yeah, it didn't, like, I don't know, it didn't pop up with the diamond on him, and some people who I have already given things to, um, they are still people I can click on, so it's, like, weird to just have the circle. Well, I don't think I have time to do, to start Leviathan on this one, so... We will maybe just hop over. Oh, and as far as I could tell, I went through the Presidium and Commons, or the Embassy and the Commons, and uh, there was not anything there for me to pick up, like any new quests. So we might be going down on those. As in, we might be. They might be running, running out. Like we've done what we can. It seems like, for the most part. 
Is this, this is a new system. Let me see. Let me see what you got. Uh-huh. It's tipped on its side. Oh, cute. We've been to Antrim. Antrim, I believe, is the place with the thieving... The thieving cow alien things. His once ridiculed visions of beings of light, this eccentric billionaire, protecting organic life from synthetic machine devils doesn't seem quite so far-fetched now. His private army of mercenaries are well established on the planet, waiting for us to come knocking on their door, and all likelihood they will be obliterated by the molten metal of a Reaper orbital bombardment on its way to somewhere important. Yeah. I mean, if you hide, maybe you have a chance, but... Ooh, this one's pretty. Seismos is an ice dwarf world. Normally a planet's like this small without a rate inclusion on the system's charts, but it's unusually large and beautiful rings of ice crystals have made it a popular subject for ice for visual artists. The ring is the result of a glancing equatorial impact which left a large trench and threw a large amount of melted water into the atmosphere. The rings are a temporary feature that will completely decay in a few thousand years. I wonder what that trench was. Hmm? Previous evidence of battling with Reapers. The habitable war has been living living in the shadow of disaster long before the Reaper War. Its moon orbit is decaying, causing tidal disruptions and electrical storms before eventual collisions. When humans settled on Antrim, the Asari derided it as foolish, but today the humans look prescient. prescient. The communications hub they set up on the planet has hundreds of quantum communicators whose information is spread through the broadcast on the planet and beamed out via Kambui. While Antrim has yet to be attacked by Reaper forces, it's just a matter of time. Here we go. Right now they're being attacked by... Let's bring out some new people. Actually... Eh, yeah. Yeah. Bring out Javik a lot, and he does have things to say, but. Oh, I did get, um. My bud, a new sniper rifle. He, we do have the Widow now, too. Or, a, not the Black Widow, a Widow. Is that the Viper? No, oh, okay, the Javelin, that's right. I'm gonna wait for mine. See where my some of my I think and it does make sense to me. I did this a little bit in Mass Effect 2 too as well, I guess, but um the I only have a little bit of red, I know, compared to the, <laughs> the rest of my paragon, but towards the end uh of the games I don't know, just depending on the situ situation, she's definitely gonna choose renegade options in certain situations. Cause uh she's sick she's sick of it, you know? No, I'm not gonna do proximity mine. And you can't do anything. Cool. Oh, jeez. This has taken one of our secret communication facilities. Yeah? All campaigns in this theater depend on the information that dish array supplies. What do we know? We're getting intel from a tech who survived the attack. Grace Sato. She's hiding in a security bunker off site. A civilian? Yes, patching her through. Miss Sato. What's happening down there? I'm staying hidden, but I'm the only one left. They're trying to hack into our systems to access Alliance operations protocols. I'm tracking their activity, but they're bound to find me sooner or later. Also, you... Hang in there. We'll be there soon. Yes. Yes, Commander. How are her transmissions not being it's caught? It's not ideal, but she's the only one with any traction on this. The information stored in that network is critical, Commander. If it gets into enemy hands, we'll lose a lot of good people. I'll take care of it, Admiral. See that you do. Hack it out. Huh, a small, easy mission that I can beat up Cerberus on? I'll take it. You know what I mean? This actually works out really well for Shepard. <laughs> She's like, I want to beat up Cerberus. This is a good way to do that. Oh, I look so good in this armor. Woo! Also, why is it why is a civilian in um 
in here at all. If this is Alliance. Oh, he's already gone. I'm still using the Wraith, but I'm, I'm not a big fan, I gotta say. Ooh, this is a nice, cool looking play. Commander Let's... Shepard, Cerberus shuttles are scouring the area. I think they're looking for it's like me. Ran out. They're using comms to pinpoint Santo's location. That's what I thought. Oh no. How do we get Nothing off the comms? Change just up the next set of coordinates. I yes, Commander. Definitely need to do more of the slamming my face into other people. Easier to do against uh, humans than it is against um. Where are they? Um. Ow. Then it is to do against Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't being super fond of the Wraith, honestly. Um, against the Reapers. But I couldn't really get close to him, so I wasn't able to really utilize the full gamut of my shotgun. It was over here. Where's... Is that not the terminal? Oh. Hey! Do we have... Oh, is there a sniper? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Now can I? Oh, do I need to go down? Okay. Miss Sato, come in. Miss Sato, are you there? She's too scared to break radio silence. We need the final coordinates. Grace, listen to me. Can't talk. They're right outside. I know you're scared. This is more than you signed up for, but I won't let you down. I promise. Okay, Commander. Updating your nav point with the last location now. But if you get to me in time... Just hurry, please. Commander, I think I can make a run and get her. Do it. Yay! Divide and conquer. I'm close, I am very much enjoying the shotgun, especially with the cryo ammo. I cannot allow them to maintain the high ground. Come oh. on, Kaden! <laughs> you stand here staring at this woman. Stupid little wiggly high ring lookalikes. What? Oh, of course it's Caden. Oh, which is unfortunate. I do have to bring him back. I'm back, Caden. Commander, they've almost got the doors open. Help! I sent. Cover, yeah, I sent. I sent Area somebody clear. to get you. Picking up Miss Sato, then heading back to the rendezvous point. Good job, Lieutenant. He gets to be a bit involved. We get to actually save somebody. Our communication station is secure. Operations in this theater are safe again. No small task to keep it that way. How is Miss Sato doing? She has to be transferred to a nearby Alliance station. She wants to help however she can. Good. We need all the help we can get. Hack it out. Hack it out. Ooh, yay. Thank you for the money. So I can buy more... Stuff. Communications arrays. That did, that did us something. I feel like I should have more than this. I feel like I should have maxed this out already. Ooh! Engineer Adams and Chakwas are in the mess hall. I wonder if they've got new things to say. We're all machines. Carbon or silicon. Is there really a difference? People feel emotion. Artificial intelligence is programmed. Punch me, I get angry. I don't choose. I just get angry. Our emotions are programming. That's not the same thing. Our emotions are a natural response. Disease? 
parasites. Lions ate their prey alive. Nature can be horrible. So now you're siding with the Reapers? Just because I'm saying the Reapers are alive doesn't mean I want them to stay that way. But we need to break free of nature and open our minds to new forms of life. So you believe the Geth share the same rights and liberties as any organic being? If that Geth is minding his own business, he has more rights than Cerberus. Oh, I had to say Despite it. Despite my disgust for Cerberus, they're still human. The Geth are just machines. Nah. We're all machines. Carbon or silicon. Is there really a difference? I think a People, nice Geth minding its own business is, has more rights than a Nazi, you know? Genetics don't make us alive. It's our self-awareness, curiosity, and capacity to evolve. Heck yeah. Well put, Commander. Of course you'd say that. You two are practically machines yourself. Well, uh, I mean, I that's actually a bit, <laughs> a bit, um, it's close to home because Shepard is essentially a cyborg. So, at this point, she looks very. That that actually is like an interesting thing to think about. Is that a discussion like that would be maybe a bit like they don't bring it up in three at all. The fact that Shepard's basically like a cybernetic human, but like. She was reconstructed, you know what I mean? Like, she's she's not what she was before she died. So who needs their ass kicked now? Cerberus. Or me. I, maybe I need to get my butt kicked and, um, you know, see things straight again, you know? <laughs> see if Liara's chatting with anyone. I've studied Protheans my entire life. If I'd been shown the beacon on Thessia earlier, you would have needed Shepard's cipher to comprehend it. That's true. I still could have learned from it. Instead, my mother hid the galaxy's most important archaeological find from oh, me. Oh, it's about your mother now. It must have been such a joke to her when I became a Prothean researcher. The penalties for withholding Prothean technology are among the harshest in Council space. Your mother's motives may have been simply to shield you. Perhaps. Thank you, Edie. I hadn't considered that. She still has a lot of mom issues. After all this time, you know? Glyph, please flag this as a list of possible book titles, and this is all over. I'd like to publish what we've learned about the Protheans. Very uh, optimistic. The Protheans and Living Legacy, the Prothean Empire, the Protheans, the last Prothean, Living History of the Protheans, the Despise Thinking Up Titles for My Own, Academic Research, <laughs> Prothean Journeys, Journeys with the Prothean. Hmm. The Protheans is too plain, but sometimes that's better than just like. Because you start putting too much in there and it starts creating a narrative within the title itself instead of just being like it depends on what she wants to do but these are different stories right like she's like it's for her titles for her academic research that i'm like i don't know the protheans a living legacy the prothean empire of the protheans the last prothean and like living history of the protheans is like one of those sort of like pop science books which i love i like to like depending on the subject right and depending on like how well it's handled like i i like to read popular science books. That's how I learned stuff about deep water, uh, deep water, like, ecosystems and stuff, you know? More, more recently, one of the books I read was, like, Underworld, Underwater Journeys or something. It was really good. I liked it. What is jo Oh, no, I was like, I was like, I thought he had moved, and I was like, what is he doing? <laughs> okay. I think, should we just go poke them and see if they say anything? Destroy a phantom sword. Listen, I have a shotgun. I destroy the phantom's entire face. So, no regrets over fighting the Reapers on a human ship? Hey, the Normandy's design was part Turian, remember? You know what I mean. No, somebody has to keep you from giving all the Dextros a bad name. That's right. I remember you chastised oh, me oh, on my species yeah. for losing our homework he, to the guest. He did do that. He that. did, he did. Would you like me to send you an audio recording? No, I hate listening to recordings of myself. My voice never comes out right. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Listen about what I said. Forget it. No, I was wrong. I was young and I was wrong about your people. Oh, and about you. Boop. Oh. Thanks. How about you? You ever mind serving on an all-human ship? It's not all human. As long as you're <laughs> Liara's like, what am I, chop suey? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we do have too many humans on this ship. I am upset about it. I don't have a single Krogan on this ship this time around, and I'm very upset about it. I have, like, what, four human options? 
It's an ungodly number of humans. <laughs> Why? Why do I have so many? <laughs> oh, but I just love and adore them. It's so good. Like, I don't know, it's like my two best friends get together and I'm like, woo! You know, like, it's so happy -fying. Like, I don't know, I think some people are probably like, Garrus is mine. And I'm like, Garrus is my best friend. And Tally is like my best girlfriend. You know what I mean? Like, I want the world's happiness for them both. And so when they are together and they are happy, and on, you hear Garrus' voice on that recording? I, he's like, I don't like my voice on recordings. I was literally about to say once their conversation was done, I was like, man, his voice is so good. Especially over the recording. It's like an extra gravelly kind of sound almost. And I was like, mm, yum, delicious. <laughs> Love that for me and for Tally. They are going to yell at you. If you require meat. <laughs> what? You guys, my hands are in the air. I'm like, what? <laughs> no, Javik, that's not what I want from you. I promise. I did look it up though once. <laughs> you can sleep with Javik, but it's like a drunken, stupid thing on the Citadel DLC. And. It is something where Shepard just says we're never speaking about this to anybody again. Or no, we're never speaking about this ever again. And like, you just go off like that. Which I think is mean, but... Commander. It is also really funny, kind of. I have seen the recording of it. You have to do like a series, you have to do like a whole series of things during the party. To get it to happen, and I'm just like, eh. I don't need it, especially for this shepherd. I have I don't think I've played three without this shepherd actually. I have played like what? Like I've played this shepherd like at least four times. I really haven't played with many other shepherds. I started a renegade run and I stopped it because I was having issues with the DLCs in two and I refused to play two and start three without the DLCs of two. Because I think they I, they add a lot of credence to um the beginning of three, at least. Plus, you get the extra, you know, fun characters and stuff, you know? Just got word from Miss Sato. She arrived at the Alliance Research Facility safe and sound. And I hear Esteban got to play the hero with a damsel in distress. <laughs> you know me and my damsel, <laughs> Vega? That I do. <laughs> that I do. <laughs> that I do. <laughs> they are so funny. <laughs> you know me and my damsel, says the gay man. <laughs> I'm ready to see Earth again, Shepard. God, don't bring up Earth to me right sure now. Sure would have liked to visit Thessia before the war. Imagine a whole world of those blue beauties. Oh my gosh. One of the wonders of the galaxy, if you ask me. What a, what a boy. What a boy. Hmm, let's go poke Joker and Edie really quick. Joker, you asked for news about the human colony, Tiptree. Hey, Liara, you don't need to worry about that right now. Now's as good a time as any. I'm getting reports of refugee ships from Tiptree landing on Solarian colonies. I don't have names. I'm sorry. It was mostly children. Well, Gunny, um, Hillary, my sister, G Gunny's a nickname she's had it since, uh, she's only 15, so if it's children, then maybe I only lost my dad. Jeff, right now, take any kind of hope you can get. Thanks. You too. God, this would be so hard. Like, Shepard doesn't have, I mean, she has, like, really close friends, but she doesn't have, like, a sibling or something. And as somebody with many siblings, I'm like, it would, it would tear me apart. I don't think I'd be able to function in this scenario at all. Like, Joker is, you know, so. And we, unfortunately, know that his sister is dead. And probably his dad, too. Commander. How's the ship holding up, Edie? The envelope of mass-free space we create when we travel at FTL limits any impact of micro-collisions with ambient dust. Nevertheless, some ablation does occur at subluminal speeds. Normandy will need maintenance before the year is out. If we live that long, <laughs> I will totally spring for it. <laughs> I will totally spring for it. Listen, the Alliance would pay, that's just, the Alliance pays for their own ship upkeep, you know what I mean? Like, we wouldn't have to spring for it. Oh, I think I will go ahead and call this one 
here we are. I think we need to go do. I think it does fit in. It slots in really well right here, right? Where we were like, okay, we had to go try to save Thessia. Things didn't go well. And yeah, we need to deal with Cerberus. But like after seeing another planet being taken down in front of her eyes, she would really want potentially whatever is hiding here. You know, that whatever massive weapon or whatever it is, Rogue Reaper, whatever we think it is, um, to come help because she just watched another planet burn in front of her eyes, you know? So, oh, thematically, this is perfect. <laughs> so, thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. First, I want to give a shout out to my Acorn Tier patron. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling Tier patron, Reese Galito. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has truly gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel. And I truly cannot thank you all enough. Um, so thank you all again. And I will see you in the next one.